different today it feels a little bit different today because we're vlogging Ryder's not here with me shout out to Ryder though he shout out to Matt today is a big day you guys have seen the post you've seen the the hype it's all come down to this moment Garrett this is when we shoot 13 over together. dude see both of us are power handshaking when you got the finger up the forearm yeah. GSR here today normally on the same team today is one of the first ever I know we've done a couple in the past but today is going to be a nine hole match out here at Shadow Glen the front nine and I feel like the way it should be is Matt has the back nine on his channel because the hole in one beautifulness. Yeah, yeah. on hole 14. So par four hole in one, that's this guy right over here. Stay tuned for the rematch, which will be uploaded in two days on Matt Sharp's channel at 5.30 p.m. Central time. So I don't even know what's gonna happen either. We're just starting this thing. This is crazy. Dude, I want some like I want lots of birdies. I want some eagles, right? I, I want, want some crazy stuff happening. Yeah. I want some chip-ins from you. I want to see a good match. That's all I want to see today. No matter what, I want us to go out there, have a good time, play some good golf. It's here. Bright and early in the morning here in Kansas City. The All leaves the are changing. It just feels like a beautiful time. It feels very nostalgic to be back here in Kansas City and uh, be at Shadow Glen. So before we go to the first tee, we've never done this in a vlog oh style, I gosh. feel like. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Ain't no way. Here we go. Here, we here go. you flip it. You want me to flip it? Yeah. <sighs> Who's going first? First tee. Go. First tee jitters. Clark? Yeah, that's me. Anyways, we're gonna go over the first tee, guys. I am hitting first. See if we can get like 50,000 likes for an amazing match with Matt Sharp. Let's make it 100. Let's make it 100. You. And let's make another hole in one. Call me an 18 year old white girl, but I'm telling you, the pumpkin spice latte is a little bit different. Dude, uh, and it's guys, that time of the season, you hear me? That's the number one rule of thumb. When the trees start looking like pumpkins, you gotta start drinking pumpkin. You do. Dude, this is the first hole. Straight away, par four, 360 yard par four here. I'm gonna stay aggressive today. This is not, and I repeat, this is not a driver hole, but I'm going driver. I just, just wanna be aggressive today. I've hit two drives today. I All just right. don't think I got that in me. So have I. Maybe if you hit it good, I might think about it. I mean, that'll play. That's the thing about this hole, is you can miss over there. Okay, that's not very good. Wow, you hit that about 150 yards, G. It felt like a good shot. I think I was a little more scared of going left than anything. And apparently the rough is thick. You can feel it. It's like... The gentleman, the old gentleman said that... Uh, he literally said three words. It said, stay out rough. All right, little five, Woody. Huh? That's also going to be... It's going to be all right. Oh, it's just on that line. Oh, yes. Great shots for me and Garrett. So Dude, fun. I'm out of breath just walking up this hill. Ah, this is literally the worst position. I, I'm literally gonna be hitting it like this. Little baseball bat. You can play high draw though. Okay, I'm just hoping to get this on the green here. I knew it was gonna go left and it's still drawing. Get over. Ah. Is that bunky? That's bunky, but dang it, that would have been really that would have been really solid. Had good distance on that thing. Yeah, if somehow. that was if that was about 20 yards right, it probably would have been in the hole. It would have been in the hole. I think Garrett is actually oh, he's actually might be in a little better position here. That's actually pretty level down here. He might have gotten away with one here. Dude, I don't know if it's gonna be a flyer or not. It's kind of weird. Got a 58. Play a little draw. Yeah, it is a little bit more level. I like that. Nice little hole out eagle here. Let's do it. I did it, Sharp, from the hole. No way. Oh my gosh. Yes. What a shot. Frank, I gotta get up and in for birdie. Shark's just in the bunker. These bunkers are pretty nice out here though, so I think you can definitely get that up and down. That's what I'm looking at up the hill for the birdie. I mean, these greens are looking pure today. Pretty standard bunker shot here. See what he can do. Shark here in the bunker. Put this in the hole, baby. Oh, it just landed a little short of the green. If that carries a, a hair, that's gonna be money. All right, here we go up the hill, a little left to right. This is to win the hole, take it to one under. This would be huge for him. Hoping for a little lip out here to kind of set the day, set the tone for Garrett. <laughs> I mean, I hit my line. I really did. That definitely sets the tone. Not really sure what happened there. It's going to be breaking to my Roger. This is for him to tie up the first hole. This would be a huge putt. Oh my, he slips it by. That was a good roll too. That's the first time I putt with this putter actually. So. <laughs> I'm actually proud of that. Matt actually lost all of his clubs and it was partially my fault. I think we can take half and half blame on this one. Cobra sent him a new set. So I'm just working with him right so now. So now he's just working with him. And then uh, obviously I lost my good, good putter. I got it all fixed up. So I'm trying the mallet now and it's working all right, I guess. After the first time I've ever called it. Matt. A 
longer hole back here, it feels like. I got driver in hand, just trying to play a high straight shot, hopefully, over this middle bunker and see if we can put it in the fairway. I like that. 5.30 from back here, folks. Little end of the breeze, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's literally perfect. I flared that last one out right. I got a little scared because there's OB right, so feels good to put a good swing on that drive. See if we can make eagle. Let's go. That guy said, bang! All right, here we go, Sharp. All right, here we go. Oh, he's hitting a draw now. This man has came to play. Okay. That is what I like to see. There we go. There we go. Two nice, beautiful drives. Hole two, two good drives. Yeah, I made bogey on the first. You know, I just gotta, I just gotta get rid of that. It was the first hole of the day. I got plenty of golf to play here today. Dude, you out drove me by a ways. That's good. That was a good drive. Yeah. Really good tee shot from Sharf. I got about 234, which is an Emmy tweener, but I'm probably gonna go, go a little bit of hybrid here. A little I'm below your feet here, Garrett. Yeah, it's gonna cut. It's most likely gonna cut. I got the hybrid. It's gonna play a little left to rider, a little bit of a slider into this wind. See if we can make eagle. Let's do it. It's the king of albatrosses and the king of hole in ones playing against. Oh my! No, he but didn't a, say a, that. But a hole in one. Your hole in one is an albatross, so. That's one true. One of your hole in ones. Yeah. That's true. That's good though. That's good. That's what we do around here. Supposed to cut, Garf. Cut. Give me oh, dude, that's in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, hey, thankfully you get relief from that. That was really cool though. Dude, like that was nice stinger. on the camera. That looks sad. I wanted to play that low shot, but with a cut. It would have been so cool to see up against those trees. Would have made me feel like Tiger a little bit. 208, I don't know if I can... can I, I think it's playing there? longer, brother. Because I hit a hybrid pretty full from 235, and that's my 260 club. Ball's not flying as far okay. this morning. Oh, it's a little cold. You're right. I'll club up to six. Yeah, he's got 208. He's going with the six iron. I think that's that's definitely the play. We're playing it off in the fairway, by the way. Nice, beautiful swing here from Sharf. That's what I need. Garrett's kind of in a tough position. He's definitely going to have to get up and down for birdie or potentially chip in. I mean, you never know with the kid, so. Oh, dude, Sharf is pure. Is it the club? What the? That's what I'm saying, dude. Back. That is what I'm saying. You hit six iron, it's still short. Up and down there, we got that. I'm in the fairway, so I do get a little bit of relief still. This is where Clark is, you guys. Dude, I almost put it in the wrong hole. He did. See it? That's close. No closer to the hole, you guys know how it works. Take a little droppy poo. A little flopper doppler. This is actually a tough shot over here. Dude. That is unreal from there. That is unreal. It landed so soft Dude, too. Just soft like a pillow, a stack of pancakes at IHOP. $15.99. Yeah, actually. Get yours, get yours today. Sharp over here, just right of the green. Gets played up because he's in the fairway. I'm actually very happy with that shot. Hopefully I make that for birdie, take it under par. See what Sharp can do here. Oh no. See, this, it's so wet down here that I got- The grainy, dude. It's grainy. You might want to putt that, honestly. Frick, I saw it was so wet and I got scared of it. it kind of hopped on him, huh? What the? Skip six steps. Okay, I mean, if I make this though, it's better to lose on a birdie. That's the one thing. This is huge. I think Garrett's gonna make this. That was just, I could have taken a pro, pro route too and taken like a hybrid or my putter and just kind of like done something a little better there. But you know, that's a mistake we make and we move forward. All right, good. It's better to lose on a birdie. That feels good to make a birdie on the second hole. Takes the two up. Onto a drivable par four, actually. If you hit driver, oh, yes. you can get it close to the green. So, hole in one in play. Honestly, we should be hitting four iron. It's never smart to hit driver on this. I'm gonna take a little bit off driver and hit driver. We wanna play aggressive. Yeah, we're playing aggressive. We're going for it. Matt, that might be in the hole. Sharp, that might go in. Sharp. Garrett. Sharp. Garrett. Oh my God. Garrett. Dude. That looks so freaking sick. <gasps> That's like 10 feet. Dude. I saw that drawing. I was like, oh my, my heart started racing. I was oh like, dude. Oh my. And I knew that was the thing. When I hit it, I knew it was going to be perfect distance. I was like, Sharp. Let's go. Oh, leave, leave a like for that. Imagine we have two hole in ones on this course on a par four. That. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. I mean, now I've put Sharp in a really bad spot. Cause... Hey, I'm still going for it. I love that visual for me. Let's put one right next to him. Come on. 
Oh, sit a hair. Sit a hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're good. Dang it. If I had that, I was playing. Dude. I was playing for that same draw I had on the that, first hole. Two good drives, dude. Dude, seriously. Charles just in the fairway grass. A nice chip there. I'm putting from like six feet, which is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that. Let's see if we can make an eagle. It my was God. perfect. I got it literally just sit right next to the pin. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> you freaking you guys go look, it's literally six feet to seven feet, but that's crazy. Landed super soft. These greens are soft and receptive today. It makes me think something is gonna happen today. There's, dude, there's that, an energy. If that's the third hole. There's an energy coming between us. It is. It's literally right between us right now. We just gotta grab it and squeeze it. And I love the way it feels. So Sharf is just in the rough over here. He has a nice pitch shot, somewhat of a flopper. This is me about six feet. I want to make that. That would be really cool. And this is where it landed. It landed really soft. It was like a high draw. So let's see if we can make that. Sharf's still in a really good spot over here. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can get up and down for his birdie. Simmer. Oh my, and it just ran. Wow. That was a flyer out of this rough. That is that was not an easy shot over there all running away from him did not land soft if he can make that he can still put some pressure on me and it forced me to have to make it to win the hole okay let's see what he can do here he's probably got to chip this in he's got to think he's got to chip it in for his birdie in order to have a chance oh and he kind of had to give it a run Frick. all right Garrett, two putts to win let's see if he can make eagle though that'd be crazy it hasn't been the best so far this would be huge for clark it's all about reading these greens because like i said they're so pure there's Really no excuses. If you can get the read, you should make the putt. I think it goes to the Roger. Yeah, it's going to break a little to your right. Yes, you lift it in. I thought I missed that for sure. Same. We'll say. That was underneath the hole, and that was gone by a mile. Dang, dude. Oh, my goodness. All right, plate says 130. I got a 50. A little downhill. Let's see if we can keep it going. Let's keep the streak up. Keep the here. streak alive. Garrett for a freaking birdie eagle hole in one finish here. Imagine. I would cry. All right, it's a full 50 to get it there. Tucked pin on the right side. Part of me wants to play cut, part of me wants to play draw. So I think I'm just going to meet somewhere in the middle and try and hit a shot. Uh, that's going to be under that ridge, huh? Yeah. Nope. Oh, oh no way. Sharpie. Look at this, Sharpie. What kind of bounce did that get, brother? It's still going, brother. That might be in the bunker. That landed long in the green, my brother. Oh my, no, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh my, it went in the bunker! That is the greatest spin. I, that's freaking 100 yards of spin. Almost. That landed long of the green. Let's just think about that for a split second. That landed long of the green. That bunker's 117, 110, so that's that. Oh, no. Just get up on that ridge and don't move. Oh my gosh, I'm in the other what are we doing? This is such a beautiful divot. That would have been the perfect number too. That would have been right there on the green. I would have been putt. Yeah. I think. You guys, just for reference, Garrett hit on that hill right there. He didn't even hit the green. He hit off of the green. And now he's all the way down here. Oh, and now he's got he's got this huge ridge. If he doesn't get it over, he'll be back down in this gully. So he's got to get it up there a ways. I'm just going to hit hope. Yeah. Sit! Okay, it didn't go in the bunker. <laughs> this is a great hole, Garrett. He went from birdie eagle to, again, potentially a double in play. I mean, hey, man. I'm not in the bunker. Could be worse. That's what I'm looking at. Down the hill. Chipping in for far, don't worry. All right, I'm just going to play it up here on the right. Just give myself a, sh a putt, for sure. Oh, and that's such a good shot. That's beautiful. Yes, man. That was incredible. Like that's a really good shot. It didn't stop, these greens don't stop, just so you know. Garrett to make his bogey, this would be a great bogey from where he was. Ah, uh, that's good. What do you give Dang. it to you? All right, I just wanna see if I can make this one-handed, which I think I can. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Little dog egg right. I gotta make something happen after that double, but. Still two up, feeling good about the match. Sharf here with driver, I got driver as well. Yes. I mean, it's gonna be on the line, but I think it'll be good. It's a really good ball. It was over there, oh, that come way. Come on, Matt. 
No, I think that's good. Oh, please be good, Matt. That was like a three, that was like a 320 bomb again. Kind of had a fade on it. I was hoping to play a draw. That's weird. Okay, I'm hitting the ball really good. Center the club face a couple times now. Yep. Hey, eagle double eagle. Let's go. That's beautiful. He's actually not in the rough. This actually helps you a little bit because now you can kind of get after it. Got a four iron, 224. Gonna have to kill this to get it there. Let's see what we can do. Ah, that'll be all right, but it's such a weird lie. Yeah. That's one of those things you could almost lay back, hit a hybrid and be fine, but I got a chip to get up and down, so we're good. Yeah. This is where Matt's ball is. He's got under 200 yards, which from the tips, that's a really good drive. That's a big drive. Can that I is a big drive. seven iron there into the wind? I think seven iron is probably enough. It's a little down off the left. Down. It's going to be a full seven or an easy six, depending on how he wants to swing. Yeah, I'm just going to take a nice smooth full seven. I'm just go right at the pin here. That's fine. Why do I keep fading these all of a sudden? But it's still nice. That's the thing. It's not like a bad shot. I know. I just, I've been hitting draws with all my irons because these shafts are a little different than my other ones. He's just right at the green over there. Actually still prime position for both of us. Par five. Let's see if we can get up and down. Okay. There's me right there. Garrett's all the way back here. Go! Hello darkness, my old friend. Unfortunately chunked that last one just a tad bit here, folks, but still has a great chance to get up and down for par. There it is. There it is! Oh my gosh! Dang, man. That's a good That's, par. Golf's such a weird mental sport. You went from like, what the heck, to now all of a sudden having a chance, like, because now I got to get up and down for birdie. I'm in the bunker, tight spot. Yeah. That's how golf works, man. That's cool. So there's this book called not, uh, Golf is Not a Game of Perfect. And in the book, Bob Rotella talks about, if you tell your brain to not do something, you say, don't do that, your brain will naturally want to do that because it's the last thing it heard to do. So over that ball, I was saying, don't go short, don't go short, which is the worst thing you tell yourself mentally. And then what did I do? I chunked it short. But then on that second chip, when I was over it, I said, you're going to make this, you're going to make this. And I put it close. So it's just such a weird thing, all so mental. Here we go, sharp here in the bunker. That is golf right there. Sit. Okay, it's spun for him, so he's got that for his par to tie the hole. Sharp here, left to right, a little down the hill. Oh. Holy fuck. Thought he made dude. it. Dang. Frick me, I'm back to three back. I just got one back. That was a weird hole to say the least. That really was. We yeah. were both in prime position. Should have played it under par for sure, and we played <laughs> over par. Good job. Four holes left. I'm three up. We got a par four here. 465 yards. I got driver in hand. A little bit of a dog leg to the right. See what we can do. Sit, sit, move, sit, move, sit, move. It might be in between. Really? Yeah. A little sliver of destiny. That was insane. Right in between. The only club that's doing me good right now. See if we can just pound this one a little bit. Uh. We're gonna be doing some things to each other over there. All right, well, that's where Sharf ended up. Not a bad spot, that's what he's looking at. Got about 195, what has he got, seven, six? Seven, I got seven. Let's see what he can do here, guys. Oh my frick! <laughs> How is it that low? Okay, you hit that pure into the lip. I don't even know what to think about that. I don't have the easiest of shots. I think I got 190, yeah, 190. It's gonna be a flyer, so it's either eight or nine, just because it's a flyer. And then the tall grass, and it might have no spin, so I'm more thinking about the front number, which is probably 165. I feel like I hit a good shot, but I, I guess I caught it thin. Easy eight iron, but slightly hard. Yes, I love that. That all makes sense to me. And that's long. Holy Dude, frick, that's gotta flyer, settle. Right? Flyer. Oh my god. It's in that back rough. That's what I was scared of. That's why I was thinking about hitting nine. I should have hit nine. I just couldn't trust it from, from 190. But. Exactly where I wanted to be. Yeah, Matt, Matt's in a really good spot here. I have to put I mean, the shaft up like that. I think. There's literally nothing you can do right now. This is thumbnail right here. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Dude, there is no way. There is no way. The amount of upper body strength that that just took. I thought you might just get it to the fairway. Wow. That is incredible. 
What'd you hit? Eight iron. I'm really excited to hit this shot over here, guys. And I mean that. Gotta change the mentality. Matt's just sort of the green. He might, honestly, he probably should just putt this because he's basically on the green. I'd say about 50, 60 feet, maybe 70, potentially 80 or 90, uh, maybe around 100, but this is what he's looking at. Needs to get in the hole. Needs to get it. I thought it needed to go. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful putt. That's not too bad. That is impressive. Not too bad. What are you talking about? All right, knowing you, you'll figure it out. It's like sitting up too much, folks. I could go under this ball. And yeah. It might go nowhere. He's thinking he can go, since he's sitting up, you guys, it might, he might, the club face might go underneath the ball, and the ball will just do this. Look. Or he'll catch it, he'll catch it perfectly, it'll land on top of this hill like he normally does, and then it'll roll to right about there. Yep. Could have told you he was going to do that, folks. Could have told you. Could have told you. <laughs> that was cool. That I, was perfect. Now, you still have to make that for par. Still going to make that for par. I did the little putter grip there. I actually yeah. gripped it like that. Interesting. More but flimsy with it. It lands it a little softer. You can't use your hands, so you it helps the ball up a lot better. That's just some golf mentality I ain't got. Does that? All right. Wow. wow. Matt's got the back nine on his channel. That was so bad. That's okay though. Glad I played terrible. For because you. in two days, in two days they get to see the rematch and anything can happen. I. The thing is, Matt is actually. Hitting it well, just didn't score the best today. I just need more work with my irons. That's all. That's all it is. I mean, I was hitting it. I've been hitting them really, really good for having them for, you know, like five days. So I'm not too upset with my play. I think it's more. It was more of the short game today, if anything. So the fairways and the roughs, they can be kind of grainy and grab your club a little bit. And grab your balls too. 